empty lots are being built on in Lodi. Here, a new restaurant is going up. And this is the framework for a three-story amusement center and bowling alley. And along with this new growth comes the renovation of an eyesore. In 1950, this was state of the art. <laughs> Terry All Clark and his wife Tony purchased the Sunset Theater on Lodi Avenue. The sale became official today. So this has always been just a, a place that I remember from my youth and I hated to see it run down. I really wanted to do something about it if I could. Nobody here remembers the exact date the screen went dark, sometime in 97. But it said the last movie was the Titanic. Until 1945, this was the end of the road for Lodi Avenue. And then, uh, oh, God, it's name. that's why it was a sunset. Yeah, it was the end of the road. The building was used by transients and kids who thought it was a cool place to sneak into. But otherwise, no one gave it much thought until the Clarks came along. We're really lucky and really fortunate to have a local couple purchase it. The Clarks, the ones that actually did purchase the movie theater that closes escrow today, they have the heart of Lodi, you know, the heartbeat of Lodi. They really have an um, intrinsic motivation to purchase this theater. Um, they've been to movies here when they were younger. But while the old building is getting a new life, there won't be movies shown here. Plans are for a community gathering place. Just make this a, a hop in place. We're going to have music, we're going to have comedy, we're going to have live theater performances. I want to try and keep it busy at least 50 weeks out of the year. Before the theater is renovated, Clark will knock down an adjacent building and make a multi-level parking lot with offices and retail on the first floor. Although it won't be a movie house again, the projector will be restored and placed in the lobby, saving a building and some of its contents to be enjoyed by the community. If Lodi uses it, then it'll be successful. In Lodi, Will Hereford, KCRA 3 News.